Okay, now let's look at how to do this uh, same function with a multiplexer. So let me grab the truth table. I see that. Okay, so here's our truth table, um, and it was 0, 1, 9, 11, 14, 15, and we want to do this with a multiplexer. So what we want to look at is um, we'd use three of these variables as our input variables, and um, then we'll have so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And if we look at these two together, and these two together, and these two together, then we see that these two have RST equal to 0, 0, 0. These two have RST equal to Nope, they have they don't so these two have RST equal to one one one. Um, and these this one has RST equal to one zero zero and U equal to one. And this one has RST equal to 101 and U equal to 1. So the reason I did, I grouped these two together, RST equals 000, because it doesn't matter what U is for that. So if I have RS and T as my inputs here, <coughs> and let's take a look at our multiplexer. Uh, diagram. That's, uh, that's a decoder. 151 is the multiplexer. I think I read it as 51. That's 151. So 151. Um, and so if we have S2 is R, S1 is S, and S0 is T, then um, RST equal to 0, 0, 0 gives me on uh, I0 an output let's see Single pole eight position switch. Both assertion and negation outputs are provided. The enable in input is active low. When it is not activated, the negation output is high, and the assertion output is low, regardless of all other inputs. Okay, so what this is saying 
is if S2, S1, S0 are 0, 0, 0 and uh, I0 is 0 then my output is 0. If I0 is high is 1 then my output is 1. And no, oh no it's yeah, then my output is high. Yep. So um, this is saying that it is working like we would expect the multiplexer to work. So when I have 1, 1, 1, that should go to input 7. And input 7, if it is low, my output is low. And if it is high, my output is high. So yes, so it works like we would expect. All right, so now if we go back and look at our multiplexer here. So if we have, um, if R, S, and T are zero, then we want a one to be there because that's true no matter what U is. And the same for one, 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 that should be one. And then if RST is 1, 0, 0, so R, we said that R was um, 2 R is going to be S2, S is going to be S1, and T is going to be S0. Um, so if that is 1, 0, 0, then that is 4. We want that to equal U. And 1, 0, 1, that's 5. We also want that to equal U, because those will be 1 if U is 1 and 0 if it is not. And um, the rest of these are 0. And then we have our output. And that would be storm. OK, so to draw this, We have your ground and VCC. And we want ground to go, of course, into ground. We also need ground to go into 1, 2, 3, and 6. And we want VCC to go into 7 and 0. Um, and we had R, so you're going to map R, S, and T to some switches. So these will be mapped to some switches. And, of 
course, I wrote them backwards. So T goes to S0, S to S1, and R to S2. Um, and what did I need to go into 4 and 5? 4 and 5 needed to be U. So you'll map U to 4 and 5. VCC also needed to go into pin 16. And our output is going to be Z. And I can't tell from this which one is Z and which one is Z bar. Z is five. So this is your output that you will map that to some LED. So you'll map that to some signal. Um, UTSR to switches. And by the way, for the previous one where I did the basic gates, um, the basic gates also the uh, R, S, T, and U are going to be matched to uh, switches and then your output, your final output, which did I do anything with that? I just, yeah, I called it storm. You're going to map that to an LED. Um, I'm going to stop this one and upload it for the multiplexer and restart my computer because it's acting up a little bit. Um, but that is your basic uh, circuit diagram right there. Not the prettiest of all things. Oh, enable, you'll want enable to be um, turned on as well, so that needs to go to VCC.